So someone who is no stranger to this race course uh, is Laura Wright. How many years now, Laura Wright, have you sung the national anthem at Aintree? A good question. I think it might be my eighth or ninth year. Let's make it to a decade. That would be quite fun. So yeah. It must just be like you just stroll on now and there's no nerves, no nothing. Do you know what? Not at all. I feel like the year, as the years go by, I have more nerves and more anticipation because I think I realise how special this festival is and what it means to everyone. Uh, we've got to talk about something you're doing tomorrow, all the hay, linked with, with the Grand National with Aintree. Just tell us about this, because this is really special. Yeah, so we haven't been able to go to all hay, obviously, through the pandemic um, and continuing. It's been really, really hard to get there. And normally the jockeys come along, along with the Grand National winner. Neptune is coming this year. And um, basically we, do you know what? It's the healing effect that animals have on the children. And it is wonderful to see. And this is this calming atmosphere. And actually for them to see the jockeys as well. And AP McCoy normally comes down. And I'm going to sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow outside in the garden and they get taken around the wards and it's just a really lovely moment to highlight you know everything that Alderhe does which is just phenomenal. It's such a community festival and I really feel like I meet people every year and they're like oh we, have, we live down the road we've never been this is our first time and yet and then some people have been coming for years and years and I have such lovely fond childhood memories as well of the Nationals so yeah it's really lovely to be here.